it's Yvonne. Okay, we're going to do the thrifting for resale haul video. This is off the last thrift with me where we went to the Goodwill. I had to go without you, but I showed you a preview clip and then we started the reel for the Three Sisters charity shop where you guys got to go with me and we looked at a lot of glassware. It was just a small little charity shop, but I did pick up a couple of things and on that video, I got some tips from you all, so thank you for that. So, this will be a closer look at what I bought at the Goodwill and the Three Sisters Thrift Store that day from Thrift With Me number 17. So, this is Thrifting for Resale number 20, um, 29, number 29. Okay, so, all right, I want to start with this first because I want to get these two expensive items off of this table okay and I think this is what uh, a lot of you are waiting on anyways so this oh my gosh <laughs> look isn't that pretty so I'm gonna see if you guys can see the signature etched in so let me get the lighting right get the light cast on it I think you can see a little bit of it there and some more markings down here. This is, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'll throw it up there. Korea, Korea. C-O-R-R-E-I-A. -R -R -E um, anyways, this is beautiful. This pattern is called um, Pulled Feather. Pulled Feather. And there are quite a few of this exact shape of glass base on eBay, Etsy, not quite the same color and pattern. There's a blue cobalt one that's really, really pretty. I can't remember what it sold for, but it was over $100. Anyways, this should bring probably about 80 to 100 but look, look at that label if you don't already know that brand of glassware because there was some amazing stuff. I'm going to go back over it and over and over it on Google and Pinterest and everywhere on their own website because I want to be familiar with everything they've ever done. It's not just this pattern. It's not just this shape. They do a lot of vases and glassware and some of it was like three, four, five hundred dollars even resale value. Okay, but this one's beautiful. So I've got some good high hopes for this. Isn't it pretty? Oh my goodness. It's perfect. There's nothing nothing wrong with it at all. So I paid $10. That's why I went ahead and paid up for this, okay? I think it's going to be worth it. So beautiful. So let's put that over there where it's safe, right? Okay, the other piece I want to get off of here <laughs> is this. This lead crystal glass figurine. Okay, this is a Baccarat. Let me come in and see if we can show you the, where is it at? There it is. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch that, but it is etched in there, okay? It's etched in there. You can see the quality of the glass, right? You can see that's a better quality glass. This is a pointer dog. So on Baccarat, if I'm saying it right, I don't know if you say the T or not, Baccarat or Baccarat. So most of us know that name and they do a lot of, you know, how would you say dining glassware, dining kitchen and bar glassware and um, candlestick holders and things like that. I didn't know they did figurines too. Some of the figurines were like one to two hundred dollars. This is a pointer and I saw someone sold one for around 20. I don't have a clue. He said it was in perfect condition. I don't know why some people do that. But anyways, I think this one should probably be around 40, 50, 60. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Now, I want to, let's do this because I want to do a comparison. Now, this chunk of art glass, it's got my fingerprints all over it. This chunk of art glass is Viking. Let's see if it'll, yeah, see that sticker? It says Viking. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Okay, polar bears. Big old chunk of glass. This is probably, okay. Oops, sorry, y'all. This, I just got a cha-ching, too, right before I started this video. I sold those cool shorts, K-U-H-L. Sold those cool shorts for 30, I think it was 30-something. I didn't quite catch that. 
Could you please repeat it? Okay. Hush, girl. Okay. So this is probably only worth about $20. Um, I do have a couple of Viking fairy lamps, even though I've only been doing the deeper dive into vintage for um, about nine or ten weeks now. I've already found two fairy lamps because no decent vintage reseller um, can like claim anything if you don't own at least one fairy lamp, right? Apparently that's a thing to own. So <laughs> I found two and I've kept them. One's an anchor hawking and one's a, um, a red viking if you guys remember those of you that are playing along with me so this is uh some viking art glass but look at the difference viking also does you know dining kitchen and bar stuff too of course if I, I should throw that in if you're learning like me see the difference in the quality of glass right mm -hmm. so that's the difference let's put that over there where it's safe that's a big chunk of glass see it's all it's like cut out in the back. I like art glass. If it doesn't sell, I'm, I'm okay to keep that. That's kind of cute. So let's do this too real quick. Um, some more art glass. These are perfume bottles. Pretty, huh? Now you can see this is the quality of glass like the Baccarat set um, dog. See the difference? Like it's just different. Like it's more along the lines of this, right? Yeah, see? So this is going to be a higher end lead crystal as well. And even the stopper is glass. So there's no markings anywhere, not a clue, not even like a little obscure little symbol. But I've sold um, perfume bottles before. So I need to do a little bit more research on these, on the shape. It's hard to get... Google Lens to um, appreciate the shape when you're doing clear glass. Um, I put it against a black background, but still, it wants to pull up. Like, this one wanted to pull up a bunch of bongs. I'm like, no. <laughs> and this one just pulled up a bunch of decanters. So anyways, I'll work with that some more. So they could just be not worth more than $10, $15, or they could be worth a little bit more. And I'm okay either way to keep them. I like this. I'll put colored water. I'll put my own mixture of essential oils. You know, I like it. Um, set them out maybe during the holidays. I've sold a perfume bottle before. It was Style Built. So for those that are learning with me, um, Style Built, one word, and it had like um, gold enameled over the metal stopper and it was like that long glass, you know, dipper stopper. And I, it went pretty quick. There were two of them. And I got 80, 60 or eighty dollars for one of them pretty quick. The other one I still have, I think because it's a more okay, it's a more common piece as far as like more for sale. Maybe they made more of that edition. So I'm probably gonna have to bring the price down just a little bit on that one and it should sell too, hopefully. But the other one must have been a harder to find um, design. It was roses, it was prettier, it was prettier. And it sold rather quickly. So let's see what we do with these, okay? We'll talk about these hopefully on a what sold video. Let's get these out of the way where they're safe. Oh, did you hear me? I just hit that Korea vase. Did you? Ah, okay. Let's do this. So I've never found a piece of Ray Dunn at the thrift store. Isn't that amazing? This is um, modern Ray Dunn. It's just the Hello Cup. 99 cents but I've never found one so I want to buy at least one and sell one this one's probably currently only about ten dollars I'd say so but I haven't sold one so there we can mark it off my reseller bucket list and I've learned there's a vintagey retro vintagey Ray Dunn and it's um it says ear which I guess is Ray backward they say so I learned that a couple weeks ago did not know that is bigger money so jot that down if you didn't know like me and um, I'm going through and looking at all the patterns and things so that I can spot it when I see it um, put it in my brain okay this is 90s 1993 it's a metal dolphin a little tiny metal dolphin and you can see it's got it's like like that vintage weeping bright thing it's got that 
where you know they kind of etched let me get an angle where they kind of etched and you know so it's shinier um, this is masterworks and the artist is Peter Sedlow 1993 it is marked on the bottom I don't think you guys would ever be able to see it but it is etched in there on the bottom part of the mold it looks like and um, the artist's last name is on the side and it was Peter Sedlow so this little piece oh, what is that four or five inches this little piece is worth probably about twenty dollars or so um, but I really like it and then dolphins you know the theme dolphins are good dolphins are a good thing I just recently sold a large, it wasn't even in great condition, um, Wyland. You know that Wyland artist? I can't remember his first name. Wyland, W-Y-L-A-N-D. He does all like the dolphins and like kind of Lisa Frank style, but serious. Like Lisa Frank with the bright colors, but more serious. He does all the aquatic paintings and stuff. He was real big like in the 90s. Well, he did something for um, Austin Productions, which if you sold a lot of, you know, ceramic statues and things you've probably run in and sold at Austin Productions before but I guess in the 80s he did a dolphin series for them and it just says Wyland on it you know Austin Productions gets the main street cred on that <laughs> and then Wyland was the artist so but now he's kind of bigger you know on his own of course but anyways that's just a little trivia so let's do this <laughs> $1.99 this is acrylic not glass look oh my goodness it's a tarantula I had to buy that right I had to buy that um, it's like a souvenir piece but it doesn't say like hi from Arizona or anything like that so that's good because that would kind of limit to value possibly let's say it may not limit the value but let's say it will limit the um audience that would be interested in buying it if it was like stamped so i'm not sure um there's no other markings on it but it was a dollar 99 i want to sell it or keep it doesn't matter to me <laughs> acrylic paperweight so let's bring this over i need some help with this one y'all ashtray great shape nothing's wrong at all now, when I first saw it, I thought California pottery was my 10-week educated guess <laughs> on this vintage vintage stuff. Um, but all it says on the back is made in America. Not even made in USA. It says made in America. No other markings. There looks like there was a sticker or it could have been a price sticker, so I don't know. So to try to research it if nobody recognizes it and can help me, I'm going to do things like try to figure out who, what pottery company signed Made in America, maybe had a sticker, maybe did not, because I don't know if that was just a price sticker from another place. Um, this is very mid-century modern, good for Hollywood Regency, the people who are doing that look. Let's come in closer and let you look at this. I'm hoping someone can help me. That's gold and black, right? And I don't think, if I can get an angle, you might be able to see, kind of, kind of, see it says made in America, <laughs> instead of USA, that was different. So, if anybody can help me with this, I'd say this, if I use those keywords, mid-century modern, Hollywood Regency, I might be able to get like $20, $25 out of this. This is really nice, and it's in good, great shape. Maybe a little more. Who knows if I can figure out who it's from, and it was somebody with a little bit more clout. So, I like this. Um, one, one more thing I was going to say about this. Oh, so I know smoking is not cool anymore, but, you know, so a lot of us are saying, okay, paintbrush holder, candy dish, um, whatever there's just a lot of other functional things that we can suggest that these be used for now and people are still buying them and, and using them maybe a movie prop who knows it's too cool to leave behind though right too cool to leave behind <laughs> okay let's put that over here where it's safe too that is um, not glass that is ceramic this was kind of a surprise normally I would have never 10 weeks ago I would have never even like noticed these at all they would not have been on my radar 
but I'm learning so I'm picking up anything that looks like it's got a little bit of quality to it. The same way I approach clothing or tell new people to approach clothing. Don't be scared of it. Just and you don't have to waste a lot of time. Just go through and look for quality, okay? So I'm gonna bring these up before I say anything more. <laughs> what do you guys maybe somebody wants to play a guessing game? Oh my gosh. These are a thing. These are quilting tile, quilting pattern tiles. Let me find one here, this one. Um, it has the name of the pattern on it, design, um, hill design, there, and the name of the pattern. And surprisingly, these sell for like, I've seen some of them sell for like $15, these little ceramic plates, tiles. So, oh, oh my gosh. So, I'm not sure, I really like this one. That's really cool right there. Um, I've seen that pattern a lot on quilts. So, I saw someone lotted it up and got 25 and I didn't check the condition. But I think I should sell them separately, be, list them separately. That can sell them together. List them separately because maybe someone just needs this one or maybe they just need this one. They all have their names to it. So I think I'm going to list these separately, right? Um, probably put like $12 or $15. See what happens. Take best offer. So that was kind of cute, right? That's different. Okay. So something else. Oh, subcultures. You guys know I, I like I keep track of subcultures and there's some I like to cater to. So quilters are a subculture. <laughs> They're serious business, right? They got their own little clubs, their own little secret hangouts and handshakes, okay? So <laughs> don't discount that. Um, and speaking of, there's another one. The fantasy conventions, okay? Like there's Star Trek and Comic-Con. Well, there's fantasy conventions. And this also will work for like Renaissance and Scarborough Fair. But this is a dragon. This is 1980s. And the artist is um, Rhea. It's signed Rhea, John Rhea. And this is from 1983, I believe. But like if you went to those conventions, you'd see vendors set up, you know, that had things. I remember I had a, um, I remember someone who went to those conventions. She read all those books and stuff, and she collected a lot of the dragons, like the dragons come out of the egg. That was real popular. Big ones with all with like iridescent paint on them. Do you know what I'm talking about? So those have some resale value, especially some the older ones. But don't discount the new ones. Um, if you are watching my thrift with me, this would have been a couple of months ago. We went to the ARC and I pulled out some fantasy figures. I wish I could remember the name, but they're current and their actually resale value on those is like you're actually around a hundred dollars. So the fantasy figure figurines, you have to check and know which ones are nothing and which ones are collectible between the old and the modern, but there's money to be made on those. Let's take another look at this guy. He's cute. Cute. <laughs> okay, he's ceramic. Okay, so, and some more ceramic. This is Japan, and it is marked, designed by Eric Stauffer, for whatever company. Eric Stauffer, and I'll put that up there. I've got to fix the little chain. There's a place here for the little puppy's chain to be on with the mom. There. Can you see? Let me see if I'm holding it right. So it is marked. So I saw quite a few from this artist. This is delicate porcelain, not just um, ceramic. Nothing is wrong. No chipped ears. Nothing. See, I don't know if the quality comes across, you know. Does the quality come across on the camera? You can just tell the different quality. Again, I approach this learning of more vintage -y stuff the same way I do, you know, clothing. I look for the quality, and this, you could tell. So, I think this being in great shape, all I have to do is fix that. Um, probably around 30-ish is what I think on this. We'll see. Watch my store and we'll see, or it'll show up in the sold video, hopefully. It's adorable. Okay. 
Let's put him out of the way too, because I I can be a little clumsy sometimes, so. Okay, what I did buy at the Three Sisters was, wait a minute, I'm gonna turn the light off, so let's do this first. At the Goodwill, I bought a Nakona belt. Nakona, that's a higher end brand at the Western stores. Now, Nakona belts can resell for, I've seen people let them go for 12 to $20, to 50. I'm thinking this is more like a $50 one and that would be a great deal for someone because this one's more epic and I'll show you plus it hasn't been used and it's a larger size but see even just look at the buckle see so I paid ten dollars I was I felt okay awesome right so if you're not sure about Western wear let's see if I can get there Nakona okay there it is. And it's a larger size. Look at that buckle again. Iridescent crystals on it and then matching, matching ones. And of course, th these kind of Western things, you can unsnap them and put on different buckles or put this buckle on a different belt. They're interchangeable. This one's perfect. <clears throat> you know, you look at the, you look at this area, the end area, and see if any of the holes are stretched out. This one, I don't think anyone ever even used it. So I felt okay to pay $10 for it. I'm gonna start out at 50 or 60 and put it on eBay and Poshmark, of course. Now I'm going to show these only because they do have resale value. Nice little 60s, 70s um, hippie belt. I paid $2. It is leather. You want to make sure it's a good quality leather, though. Resale value on this, I'm thinking, would be somewhere around 20 ish because it's good condition and a good color and good quality leather. Soft. Not bonded leather. Be careful because when you get things that are bonded leather, they start to separate after a while. And that's, no one's going to be happy with that. Now, I really want to talk about this one, too. $6.99. Uh, I'm going to keep this, but let's talk about it. I've talked about these before. These Moroccan belts, okay? This is a nice one. This is a nice big one. Um, not the bonded leather. Again, it starts to separate, and that's no good. No one's really used this one. None of the holes are stretched out. These Moroccan belts, and the nice ones like this, you can get $30, $40, $50 dollars sometimes for these. It's so funny. Some people sell them too cheap, but again, maybe it was a cheaper bonded one or not real leather. Um, these have been popular forever. This is really strange, like 60s, 70s, like these just are like a classic thing. It's, isn't that odd? In the United States, they're a classic thing, but they, good, they go well for Western and especially for the boho. But I don't have, I've got a couple myself, but I don't have one of this size so and it's my and it fits me so I'm gonna keep this one but always check these out and if it's a good quality one you can get some money okay Moroccan Moroccan belts okay one more thing so this if you went thrifting with me at the three sisters you saw me go get this one and put it up I saw it on the table and I knew when I went over to the table I knew exactly what I was gonna pick up but just me and my dad and one other person was in there so I didn't have to like run and grab it but I'm glad I got this I like art glass so I'm like I'm gonna get this because I have a feeling about it and I'm okay either way because this can this will mix in with my modern art glass as well but I have a feeling about this I think this is gonna glow in the dark I think this is gonna be depression glass or Vaseline glass uranium glass it has the uranium salts in it I'm learning there's something about wartime or pre-war and the things that they mixed in with the glass and some of it glows in the dark so if you don't already know that um, I just learned it myself 10 weeks ago <laughs> so and I've already found a couple pieces so um, I will turn the light off for you oh let me talk to you about this first this is a thing oh my gosh this is for Fostoria Fostoria and the artist on this is um, George Sakier, Sakier, I'll put the name up because I might not be pronouncing it right. And he did these bowls, these candlesticks in a few different colors and beautiful vases with like this geometric, almost art deco design. 
and the vases can go for two, three, four. I saw $600. Even on eBay, I saw $600 for the vase. There was an ad that a group of 10 vases and one of these sold for, it was like five digits. I was, I'll, I'll pop it up. It, it was a crazy amount at Sotheby's, Sotheby's, and which is, you know, that high-end auction house. And it was due to get, that collection had a lot of the vases in it. The vases bring more money. But when if you find something like this, it comes in a blue and a pinkish color, too. Um, be careful on pricing because there's a smaller version, little candlesticks, a smaller version, okay? So they're going to be priced a little bit cheaper. This is probably, would probably be worth around 60 to 80, um, waiting for the right person. It does have a chip. I'm going to keep it anyways, because that was a limited edition collab. Okay, but isn't it cool? Super cool, right? So, we'll turn off some lights, and I'll show you guys. <laughs> it was so cool. That's how I learned it. I was watching Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady and she did this and I was like, wait, what? What'd she just do? Okay, we're gonna have to turn off one more, okay? <laughs> Let's see, turn my phone over. I don't know if it's gonna be dark enough. Oh, come on. It's not gonna be dark enough unless I turn off my computer and I can't do that. You can kind of see it, and it works better. You can kind of see it. If you Google it, there are people that have better pictures up of that kind of thing, okay? And I was told to get a um, a bar, like a strip black light, okay? You, I can see it, so I don't know if it's coming across for you guys. Like Again, if I turn off, I can't turn off the computer light, so I've got a big screen. Anyways, look it up. It's really cool, and learn about that if you didn't know, because... That's fun. So now, this is in my reseller toolkit too, a black light, a black flashlight. I think I bought it off eBay for like $5 and then I'll buy a tube because what people, the collectors do that like this kind of stuff is they'll get a curio cabinet and they'll put the black lamp right in there and then at night when you turn it on, like the whole, every piece in your case just like glows like this alien color. Anyways. That was fun. I'm going to keep this one. It was the 20% off sale, so it was $4. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you. And I will be doing another thrift with me Monday or Tuesday. So I will see you later or on one of your videos. Thanks and have a great day.